Right. So you've got a big afternoon planned, huh? Ooh. Why don't you have a seat right there, please? I said, I mean, it is for sex, I am not coming. For sex, you are not coming? Yeah. So I'll just make a good friend. You say, I feel like kissing you now. And suck on your blank. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shania and today's video is going to be a little story time video slash like me doing my makeup because why not? Um, I didn't really know what to film today so I was like why not just mash the two things together and just call it a day, you know? <sighs> so if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, I actually did this story time on Periscope but um, <sighs> if you missed it, Here's your chance to like get the tea. <laughs> okay. So this story is not a very long story, but like since it's weird, like it's low key weird. So I'm just gonna just be doing my makeup and talking at the same time. So let's just do it. So let's get into the story. So this happened like my sophomore year of high school no this happened my freshman year of high school actually okay yeah freshman year so this was freshman year of high school and i was like 14 yeah i was 14 years old and yeah this happened around like may of like my freshman year it's like the end and <laughs> yikes okay so oh, telling the story like it gives me stress because of how dusty it is but okay so I lived in an apartment building and um, obviously I have neighbors so yeah so I had a neighbor to the left of me and like I never even seen this boy ever before in my life so it was like I was shook so it was me and like four or five of my friends like sitting in the hallway because we would do that a lot just sit in the hallway and just like you know talk talk amongst each other and <laughs> we see this gleam of light honey and it was this boy and he was flying honey he was looking good he was giving me a little bit of blazing you know he was giving me that he was looking good and i was like okay he's looking good honey and me and all my friends were just a little bit shook because like we're just so used to like the high school boys and we're just like ew but this boy was like not even a boy he was a man honey looking very in his 20s honey and he was looking good tall light skinned you know <laughs> like that cares like that matters but he was giving me height you know he was giving me face he was giving me body so he like was walking we were in the hallway like near my apartment like near my actual door and he was like right next to my door so he comes out of his house and <laughs> we were shook honey we were all actually shook a bunch of 14 15 year old girls obviously we're gonna be shook when we see like a cute boy but we didn't like say anything we just we didn't like do the most so <laughs> he comes out of his apartment and we're just like so goddamn quiet because we're just really shook and then one of the girls that i was with actually like literally farted like she literally farted honey she farted in front of this boy and we were like we started geeking like we started being so crazy and loud and just like laughing so hard because this bitch just farted like this man is cute and you're gonna fart in front of him like are you dumb but yeah she farted and then we were just blaming it on each other and he was laughing he was like oh my god who farted or some shit and i was like this bitch farted like oh my god this bitch farted and we were just laughing at that and he was like oh where are you guys from like who are you guys and like asking us questions like that and then we were like oh we're from here like we go to so and so high school yada yada and he was like oh okay i'm i don't remember his name to be honest so like yeah i don't remember his name let's name him um bitch name him brush so brush um was like yeah um i'm 20 he said he was like 22 or 23 and he's like oh i'm going to the army so like yeah i'm just here waiting for the summer you know da, 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 da. and we were just like you know talking to him and he was like you know walking to the elevator and then we're like oh cool like nice to meet you da, 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 da. and he was like nice to meet you too hopefully i see you guys more some shit i don't know what he said to be honest i forgot but yeah something like around that you know something around that so then me and my friends like he went in the elevator and then he left and we were like 
screaming because we we're like this boy is fine like he was mad cute you guys when I say cute he was really cute but then stuff went down after that okay so after that day we like started seeing him more often I guess it's because we started sitting in my hallway more just to like try to see him more often you feel me and like I didn't want to make it obvious that I thought he was cute because he was my neighbor and I was like that's gonna be weird like I think my neighbor's cute so like he's gonna know like I didn't want him to think I thought he was cute so like I tried to play it cool and everything whenever I saw him but my friends were just extra because they don't live here so they don't have to pretend that they don't think he's cute you feel me like they can just do what they want because they don't live here so so we started seeing him more often after that and he would just start talking to us and just like be like oh yeah what high school you guys go to like what grade are you guys in and like how's life and this and that and we were just we we're just telling him like yeah we're freshmen in high school like it's almost time for us to go to be in summer and whatnot like it's because it's may so it's gonna be summer soon and we were like so excited like oh my god it's gonna be summer soon so yeah and then he was just like yeah like that's cool you know i'm i'm like you know going to the army and like i'm so nervous and this and that we we're just like well, we really don't care so yeah <laughs> so then he starts like eyeing one of the other friends at one of the girls i was friends with at the time started like eyeing her and just be like you know getting flirty flirty with this one girl and she was pressed like very pressed you know you know teenage girls with their pressness and she was very you know just like one of those girls that was just so like out there and like doing a lot all the time so they started like getting closer or whatever and then I guess like they exchanged numbers at one point um so they exchanged numbers but I don't think okay wait I, I'm missing a whole chunk of the story okay so actually so brush and the one girl I was friends with they exchanged numbers and then they started being all like you know try to get cute and like trying to flirt and whatnot and I was just like ill but go off like do y'all know this boy is older than us like way older and we're literally 14 like that's not cute but like go off and then so yeah so then they started texting but like I don't think he knew that she was our age like I think she told him that she was older than him I don't really know how that worked out but like yeah she told him that she was I think either 17 like turning 18 soon something like that something around like the legal age or whatever okay so keep that in mind so then yeah they were texting and stuff and like flirting over text and like she would show us all his text messages and just be like oh my god what should I say and like all this stuff like that and we were just like girl I don't know um but yeah <laughs> so then um it's like may the 5th i remember this day so clearly but um we have this place called mo's near us and it's like a burrito place and so it's like single de mayo and we are <laughs> going to this place called mo's because they had like free burritos or something that day or like half off burritos something like cheap because we were in high school so we were broke so yeah so I think we either saw him in like the lobby of our of my building or like in the hallway or in the elevator or something like that but we saw him in the building we were talking talking amongst each other like oh yeah we're gonna um go to Moe's and like this and that and then he like pops out of nowhere like truly out of nowhere and then he's like oh my god let me come with you guys and we were like um at first I was like oh wig like let like let's let him come with us because maybe he drives like, you know like he's a grown man like why wouldn't he be driving so we're like okay bet cuz like we were not trying to walk so we're like oh yeah let's like invite him to come so he we were like okay sure like come with us and he was like okay I'll walk with y'all huh you do what you said what now you'll walk with who with who maybe with who and so we were like oh you don't drive you're a grown man, honey. You're a grown man, honey. You don't drive? He was like, no, nah, I don't drive. You know, I said I'm going to the army, so I don't have a car. What does going to the army mean? Like, okay. Anyways, so he was like, yeah, I don't drive, so, like, I'll just walk with you guys. And we were like, okay, okay, you can come, I guess. Like, okay. So, I put, like, hella concealer on. Whoa. Kind of put on too much. But anyways... I put on hella concealer you guys what the hell did I just do that for um let me situate this real quick and I'll be right back 
so we were like okay you can um walk with us i guess or whatever but then we like kind of i don't know what was done but like he ended up like meeting up with some other guys from our school and like ended up walking with them so we were like oh maybe he won't like come with us like please because we were just like kind of over him at this point because like he was texting our friend and she was like kind of like over him but like still texting him you know what i mean um but yeah so we were walking to the mo's and all of a sudden we like hear our name or like we hear i hear one of the girls names that we were with and we were like this cannot be this boy right now like he really is so pressed because he told us he was gonna just like meet with us later at the mo's so like we were like okay fine like we're just probably just gonna bail on him or something you know but then we hear her name and we were just like he actually did come we we're just like so over at that point but like we were trying to like keep our cool and be nice or whatever so yeah um so like he walks towards us and like he like starts walking with us to the mo's and by this point like we're already like super close to the mo's so like it's whatever and we're just like please don't sit with us like please just sit with your friends like those boys that you're with please just sit with them but he didn't um <laughs> i was like can he this nigga at least pay for our food like at least pay for our food but he did not so that was that um so yeah so we sit down and we find a little booth or whatever and we start talking but like one of the girls the girl that he was texting wasn't there she wasn't with us we were with some other girl and this is where all the mess started okay so then we were with some other girl and this boy brush my neighbor started trying to like mac on this girl and we we're just like but aren't you texting my friend like what are you doing um but yeah so he starts like macking on this girl trying to think he all cute and whatnot like you know whatever whatever so then he ends up getting her number and like then they started texting because he starts freaking falling in love with this bitch and shit like i'm like boy you um understand that you were falling in love with uh teenagers but go off um so yeah he starts falling in love with her i guess like he starts being all weird like every day he would see me and my other friends like not the two other girls that he was texting he would be like oh where is this girl where's this girl where are they are they coming today are you guys hanging out today like winging at like, like when i say he was so pressed you guys like it was like actually sad like boy you're literally at your the age and you are pressed on these little girls like I didn't understand it so then I started just being so over him like I was like this boy's not even cute anymore because like he's doing the most now so like I'm over it but yeah so so yeah so then we were like sitting in the hallway one day and then like the boy comes out of his apartment and he's like sits down with us and like starts talking to us and whatnot and then the, the girl that he just recently started texting we were out to eat hey girl what's up girl like you know trying you know and then like she was just saying hi i think she was dropping something off and then she just left and then he was like oh my god she's so beautiful like her butt is so big like next who says that like you're weird like you're weird boy like i was just so over him i was like who says that like okay he said that we were just like um <laughs> you know being teenagers like oh <laughs> you're so funny like her butt is big like she got that body but she really had a body though like she really snapped but yeah so then that happened we we're just like that's a red flag like you're weird um those were just like little red flags you know like he was just being very weird first girl he started texting they fell out because i guess he found out that she was younger than she was and then he was like, why would you tell me you're, you're this and that when you're actually this and that? Like, I'm so done with you. Like, we can never talk again. Like, <laughs> But I'm like, how did you not know she was underage, sir? Like, how did you not know? But you knew the other girl was underage. Like, the second girl he was texting, he been knew that she was um, a freshman. But he was still talking to her. So, that was just very weird. So then they start stopped texting, and that was that. So then a few a few weeks why this happened like of course in like like three weeks so it wasn't like a very long thing so then after like those three weeks happened a few weeks go by and then we don't really talk to him as much but we still like you know when we see him in the hallway or something we'll like say hi or something like that so then yeah so then honey 
So we're at school this day, okay? We're at school and we're just chilling in the cafeteria, you know, eating lunch. And we have this thing called Mayday and it's basically just like a, I don't know what you call it, like a fair? Just like a little get together for all the high school students before our pep rally or something. Something like, it was something like that, like an end of the school year, like big party outside thing, okay? But yeah, so we were in lunch. <laughs> Honey, I was eating my lunch, being very peaceful, being very happy with my life, with my 14-year-old life, okay? I look up. I look, I look up. I see this boy walk through the doors. And I'm like, it's all my friends. I was like, bitch, bitch. And then they were like, oh, what is he doing here? What is he doing here, bitch? And I was like, bitch, I don't know. Like, why is he here? So we like try to hide ourselves so he doesn't see us and like come up to us and talk to us. Cause I'm like, this boy just actually broke into our school, but go off. Um, okay. But then he sees us anyways and he walks up to us and we're just like, <sighs> like, hey guys, what's up? And we're like, well, what are you doing here? You don't go here. How did you get into school? I was like, how did you get in here? And he was like, wait for it, hold on. He hopped the fence. The fence! He hopped his 22, 23 year old ass over a high school fence. He hopped his ass over a fence. Strolled into our school. And that's not even the weirdest part, okay? That's weird, but that's not the weirdest part. This boy, this man, this grown man, was wearing a backpack. Dressed in like teenager clothes. Like, I'm sorry, but if that's not the scariest thing, he really was wearing a backpack, dressed in teenager clothes, trying to look like a teenager. Like he goes here when he actually is a grown ass man. He just like nonchalantly said, oh yeah, I jumped the fence. What? You just, you, you. You did what? I'm sorry, what? Why, why? Like we were all just looking at each other like, oh, you jumped the fence. Oh, so you, oh, okay, you jumped the fence to get here. Okay, cool, that's, that's amazing. Like I just, I just couldn't get over the fact that he said he jumped the fence like you guys. I was so fucking shook. Like that's when I knew we were dealing with a crazy motherfucker. Like that's when I knew. We were dealing with the crazy ass nigga, like. <gasps> so after that, we just like, he kind of just like walked away and started like making friends, like with people in our cafeteria. Like, I don't know how he even, how that was even uh, like done. Like, how did he get away with jumping a fence and like nobody caught him? And like, he was, he was literally at the school for the rest of the day. Like, I'm not even kidding you. He was at the school for the rest of the day. Like, lunch was over, then we went to May Day, we went outside for our little, you know, activities and stuff. And he was there, like he was literally outside making friends, talking to people that he didn't even know. So that was that. And literally he made all his little friends and literally he made friends and I don't really know what happened after that day, but yeah. Um, after that day, we didn't really see him much or talk to him much, um, like, we really didn't. My friends would like kind of like do a ding dong ditch to him and like knock on his door and his parents would get like really pissed. So like they stopped doing it or whatever. But you guys, <laughs> is that not the wildest thing? Like that's so wild to me. Like you're a grown ass man. Why are you hopping fences? That was my story, you guys. Um, Very weird. Very, very weird. But yeah. Was weird. Okay, I need to blend this eyeshadow out because it's just not blending and I don't know what's going on. But like, anyways, yeah. Do you guys have any crazy stories like that? I would love to hear them. Because that was probably the craziest thing. Well, not the craziest thing, but like one of the craziest moments in my life. Like truly, like very weird. I'm gonna take this goldy shade, this coppery gold shade mixed with this shade right here. And I think I'm gonna put that on my lids. Should I? Yeah, I'm gonna put it on my lid. 
we're back. And I had to do the other eye and I thought, oh, maybe I should do a little schmoky action. So that's what we're going to do today, you guys. So yeah, anyways, that was my story. I know it was a little weird, but sometimes life is weird. But right now I'm using this new Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte Eyeliner and it literally just freaking broke so I dropped it. Um, but yeah, I'm using this to just smoke out my eyes today. I'm going to be popping on some lashes now. Um, these lashes are in the style Taylor, I believe, and they're from Icon Lashes. And I do have a discount code with them, I believe, but if I don't, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I'll just leave their link down below for you guys to check out some lashes from them. Okay, for highlighter today, I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter and the shade, in the shade Molten Gold. So bad. I don't want a super crazy bright highlighter because this can go a little bright. And I have a freaking pimple here, so we're going to cover that up in a bit. Hold up. Okay, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that same eyeliner pencil that we used earlier, and I'm going to just color in that freaking pimple earlier, and we're gonna turn it into a freaking into a beauty mark. Cute. I'm gonna take my Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Naked. Just a bit of it because it's kind of bright, as you can see. Kind of just place it there as a base. I'm using a freaking beauty supply store lip gloss that my dog bit. Um, sorry, um, but yeah, it's just like a cute ass like clear lip gloss with like a little bit of a iridescent essence to it and I freaking love it so I'm gonna apply this to my lips okay guys so that is it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed today's story time and today's little makeup video it's a bit chill and relaxed and cute I hope you guys enjoyed it um if you guys want me to do more videos like this please let me know because this was a, such a fun little relaxed video and I really really liked doing it and yeah I'll be leaving all the products that I use in this video in the description bar down below if you guys to check out description bar or description box I mean um okay and you guys can follow me on Twitter Instagram and Snapchat if you still have it I'll make it by Shania and I'll see you guys in the next video You guys, what the fuck? I'm so pissed.